All right, here we are. It is September 12th, 2020. Uh, we're up here in Monroe Township, Clarion County. Up here uh, camping at Cook's Forest for the, the week. This be, uh, we're here at the, the historic Clarion Train Trestle. I guess it's called the Clarion Train Trestle because it goes over the Clarion River. But um, you'll find other videos just like mine on YouTube. Uh, behind me is where it crossed over this ravine here. A little bit of a waterway here that dumps into the Clarion, but you even got a couple guys sitting out there. Anyway, um, let me turn this around. So we're here off of uh, Dam Piney Road, I think it's called. Which um, down there is Laurel Road, which loops around, which we'll be going that way to come to the other side of the the train trestle. So here we are. There's a little bit of parking here. We parked up on the right. There we go. Um, you can climb up this way. That's the way I went yesterday, or no, two days ago. Or there's a little path right there, if you're feeling like climbing that. Sorry, I'm jumping all around here. Getting situated, but here's the easiest way to get in this. <clears throat> Right here. Up and around. So a little bit about this train trestle we're coming to. This is going through uh, Penn's Woods. Um, like I said, we're in Monroe Township, Clarion County. <clears throat> they would have built this train trestle here in 1908. Um, a little bit of the research I did on it. In the 20s, they poured concrete to support the trestle, which I'll show you later on the other side. But this is the tunnel here. <clears throat> here comes the side by side, or no, a quad, quad coming up. So there's a quad trail right there. That probably the locals use. Yep. Yep. So here we are. There's a better look. Out over where this... That would have been a... I guess a trestle bridge type of thing that went over that way. And here we are. Once we get up ahead, I'll continue with the video. As you see, a lot of this has uh, fallen. And as you follow other videos on YouTube, you'll see different phases of this. I said this is my second time here. Airport. I would say this is very dangerous. Tyler's got my flashlight. You did not wear the right footwear. <laughs> here, shine this back here, Ty. Look at that. Oh, man. So, okay, let's keep moving. Okay. 
Yeah, so this is the entrance off of Dam Piney Road, off of Laurel Road. Uh, the most popular one to come to, probably because of all the collapse. But we are going to go through this tunnel and show you the train trestle. Here, shine this over here on my feet. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Here, shine, let's shine this back here. Wants to show this. Oh, my. Yeah, I don't know, guys, if this is going to be here much longer. I'm going to say that it's... Uh, it doesn't have too much left. So if you can make it out here to see this. It's simply amazing. All right. And pretty much uh, pretty easy to go through here once you get through that. As you see, some of the sides are crumbling away. I said this tunnel, at least the trestle, is marked at 1908. Um, I'm sure they did some repairs and kept it up. Like I said, um, they did add in the 20s. I read that they had some concrete piers at the base of this trestle. Um, you know, and this is a steel trestle that we're coming to. Tyler, if you see anything that you want to stop and look at, you just tell me. I'm just kind of, kind of holding it. Yeah, the other, the other tunnel that we're about to go to once we get through this one. Um, I believe it's flooded. So once we get there, you'll be able to see how far we got. A lot of your typical graffiti in here. Of these guys, these masons that did this. How long would you say this tunnel is, Tyler? Quarter mile? Yeah. It didn't look when I'm walking through it the first time, but it takes about 10 minutes off the end of end, I would say. Well, we're five minutes in the video. <laughs> Okay. So, I guess we'll know soon enough. Yeah. I'm going to say those were in case someone was walking along here like we are now and a train came, we'd be able to get to it quick enough. Makes sense. Just step in and out of the way. Or if ever in the future they knock them out and make an extra yeah. hallway to put off the whole thing. Looks muddy, mm -hmm. and it's a little bit, but it's actually 
That is hard. Alright. It's like calcify. Look at that. Yeah. Starting to collapse here. Yep. It's like six layers thick of brick. Right. It's definitely wet in here, but we can definitely make it. I'm in my Nike Air Maxes, so. <laughs> and Tyler's in a pair of Crocs. <clears throat> They're shining it over on this side here. Just, yeah, nothing. I'm actually hoping to see some good graffiti, you know. Not that I like graffiti, but if you're going to graffiti. There's actually water flowing in there. Yeah. I see that. It's been pretty dry, so maybe there would be more water in here if we had a lot more rain, but it's been pretty dry. Very dry summer. If you do come here, please take what you brought with you. Cigarette butts, pop cans, you know, all this. Water bottles. I hate seeing that. Boy, somebody there was just drawing a line. I think it was wasting paint. You gotta draw a line somewhere. Yeah. So this side over here, Tyler, didn't have it was all the water. Look at that. Nobody wanted to stand in the water. I'm not condoning you to come up here and graffiti this side, but it is a blank canvas. <laughs> yeah, your typical swear words and yeah. Bunch of dongs. <laughs> I don't know. Does anybody out there in the world know that what's the most painted uh, graffiti? I guess maybe symbol. Would it be a dong? I don't know. <laughs> it could be. There's another section that's pretty coming out. Where this brickwork's gonna probably not make it too much longer. Yeah, water coming down through, that's going to road it out. And we have some folks already out here on the other side. There's a big hole over here too, Ty. Look how thick that is. Yeah. Yep. That's wild. Hey, finally, look at that. There's some artwork that's uh, 
There, someone took their time, knew what they were doing. Here we are on the other side. All the metal in this water, huh? Hello. Yep, looks pretty good on this side. The other side, not so much. But here we are. Yeah, Tyler, it's about 10 minutes. It took us to get out here. And here we are at the train trestle. Our friends are going to wait until we go to the other side. But Tyler and I made the journey through. There is a couple access roads on each side here. Don't know where they go. Oh, I hear somebody. I don't know whether they climb down and around or... Where they walk down and around. But here we are. Clarion train trestle. Walk out a ways here. As you see, it's uh, weathering pretty well. It is a steel structure. From what I read, there was a there was a two track here and obviously there's only one left but there was a track on the other side is what I what I read yeah There's the river below. I don't know how high we are. I didn't look at that. There's probably someone has calculated this. Seems to be pretty good, Tyler. Now you guys walked out here a couple days ago where I stayed behind. I see it. Yeah. Maybe we'll get up that far. I don't plan on getting on my hands and knees. Yeah. How beautiful is this out here? That water does not appear to be very deep. I can actually see below it. I can see rocks down below the surface, so I'm going to say it is probably three feet in some spots. Not enough to jump down there. Straight ahead, um, I don't know, maybe 100 yards, 100 feet, 100 feet. The tracks are missing there, The not the tracks, but the ties. That's for Tyler and Jimmy. There's a canoeer. Going upstream. Yeah, going, paddling upstream. There you go. So, yeah, this is very beautiful. Um, I don't know that we can get here and float down this part of the river. I don't know. We just floated in uh, the Clarion, uh, closer in the Cook's Forest, so. 
which I don't have any video of that, but maybe someday. I'm going to turn around here. And then we'll just end this video here. And we will continue once we get on the other side. So, Tyler. That's all for now. Yeah. <laughs> Tyler had the Ryobi flashlight that we brought. It uh, helped a lot. So, yeah. Um, yeah. That is so cool. I don't know if you'll be able to. But I can see through to the other side there where our friends are waiting for us to get back. So for now, we'll end this here. Um, I'll pick up once we drive down to the other side. East End Road, I think it is. Yeah. And you can park there. There's access to there. So we'll pick up and continue the video from there. So we are in the far tunnel here. Um, it's completely filled with water. There's no way to no way to access that end of the tunnel. But I'll take you back through here as far as I've walked. This is uh, pretty neat here. This little alcove I was standing in. But all right, we're coming back this way to meet up with everybody. We want you to turn off your lights for a second. Ready? Good, Pete. You gotta check this out when it's Are you taking a picture right now? You gotta see the light goes. Yeah. We, we good? One more. I'll show it to you. Cool. All right. That was Pete taking some photos of us here. I'm following Lou through this, so just bear with me. But yeah, this is the um, this is the second tunnel. This is the tunnel that really we don't have access to the other side. And this is off of um, is it East End Road? I think not Piney Dam Road. That is on the other side of the trestle. No. no, I'm just doing, I'm just doing this here for the video. And... The spotlight is definitely a must. Poor man. Poor man. Yeah, there's a little bit of graffiti in here. Pete, sorry. Tim, what's this right here? Tim, look. That is a picture of a dog and his long nose. Oh, I just stepped in some nice mud there. Okay.
But yeah, like I said, that hole halfway through there is completely flooded with water, and we didn't have the uh, didn't have the right footwear. Any of us did. So, I'll film us getting out of here, and then uh, I can be the end of the video. So, just stay tuned here. So there we are, leaving the tunnel. This would have been the tracks taking you Yeah, super cool. Um, I found this whole place from uh, just looking up abandoned things in Clarion, and luckily uh, some other people had videos of this area, and I was able to find it from them. A little bit of googling, and uh, yeah, what a great day to spend with friends. We're all up here together. Beautiful day. Now as we're coming out of this hollow here, um, it's definitely getting warmer. It's nice and cool back there from the tunnel. And we're coming back out to the clearing where the trestle comes out where we already were. trail here take us right back up to the road I'll have to look and see what this road's called. This access. So if you don't walk across a train trestle, you can drive around, come to this location, and follow this path down to where we were. <clears throat> beautiful here but pretty easy um, easy access to it not too much of a hike you can hear my breathing it's a, a little bit of an incline but good for you get back out here in God's country and go explore what else is there to do in 2020? <clears throat> I 
I'll just pause this here and pick up at the entrance here. There's not much more to see other than this. Loops around. And we come out to the parking. Here we are. I paused uh, eh, maybe two minutes back here. So you didn't have to see me traipse up that hill. <clears throat> but anyway, we're coming out to what it appears. I believe it's called East End Road. And there's a little parking spot here. But it is posted. I repeat, it is posted. I'll show you. So I don't know that I want <clears throat> to tell you that you should come here and park and trespass. <laughs> but I'm going to show you real quick here. They're trespassing. This would appear to be like a quad trail, dirt bike trail to get back here. Private property. Do not come back here. Here's a gate that's locked. Anyway, we came. My truck. But this is East End Road. Um, you turn out right up that way, you're heading back towards 66. Um, but the the that Piney Dan Road is, uh, you know, the one everybody goes to. But this is the other side of it, so. You know, you can come here, go do both. I mean, started uh, Piney Road and come here after if you don't want to walk across that trestle. The trestle is sketchy. Um, had two friends do it. Uh, Tyler and Jimmy. Jimmy G, they went across it. Uh, when they told me, I was like, why are you ducking down over there? It's because they had to shimmy across six feet of it, you know, on their hands and knees, so... The uh, ties were missing there, about six feet of it, they said. So I trust them. I don't need to do that. So Anyway, this is the end of my video. Uh, thank you so much for, for watching me, following me. You know, um, we'll make another video, another adventure. Like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I should have a bag. I should have a bag. I usually do. Need it. Drive my car. <laughs>